I explained about the CSS border radius property. Like here, we have generally four sets. Like uh, that is the border top left radius, border top uh, right radius, um, border bottom right radius, border bottom left radius. It means uh, these the, these all I mean these all coordinates gives the rounded shape to the coordinates of the border of an element. Okay. Wait, I will explain it. I have already explained that, like, what is this border top left radius means? Uh, it generally used to set the border radius uh, to the top left corner. Uh, border top, uh, top left his um, top right radius. Like, it is generally used to set the border radius for the top right corner. Well, bottom right radius. It, it is used to uh, set the border radius for the bottom right corner, and followed by we have finally we have uh, border bottom left radius. It is used to set the border radius for the bottom left corner. These are all the corners. Like if you tell if you want to put any border radius to that particular uh, corner, like bottom, I mean bottom left, bottom right, uh, uh, top bottom, or uh, top uh, right, then mm, then you can use. Okay, depends on, upon your urgency. I have already explained like what is this property. I mean, property values. We have generally two property values. That is length and percentage. Uh, what is this length means? It depends the uh, shape of this coordinates. Okay. It denotes the size of this radius using this length values. Uh, and here the default value is zero. Okay. And uh, there is another thing that you should uh, remind that is it should not allow negative values. This is all about the length property value. And followed by we have another property that is percentage. What is it's the size of the radius in percentage. This is also doesn't allow the negative value. These are all the two common properties in this border length and second one is percentage. You can use any one. I wrote something like uh, let me give paragraph here let me give border radius That is 25 percent, and followed by here I am giving percentile. You can even give length also. That is your okay. And now let me add my due tag. Here I we should you should close your D tag. Sorry guys. Let me give here ID equals to oh what should I give? Yay. Okay. Now yeah, here I have already opened this style tag. And now you should add some properties to this div ID tag. Um, let me add, you should mention A here. A right, yes. Here, let me give border radius. Perfectly. Uh, border here, I am giving border radius that is 
75% as usual percentage is my screen visible to all i think so clarity is missing am i clear no ma'am it's okay it's okay yeah that's fine One second. Let me run this. Oh. There is no border at all. One Am I clear now? Okay. Okay then. Yeah. Let me add a uh, border radius. One second. Let me check. Twenty five percent, ten percent. Why didn't get anything? One second. Div ID equals to here I gave ID that is. Twenty-five percent. Let me give fifteen percent this time. Oh, my screen is not visible. One second. Santoshi, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. Sir, there is a network issue.
Okay, yes, time is wasting. Let me delete all this stuff. Okay. Today, I'm going to teach you guys about uh, some what is the CSS display um, and CSS uh, font, uh, CSS font properties that is font size, font family, uh, font weight, and followed by uh, I just want to cover all the topics that, uh, that is CSS colors uh, and uh, followed by I just want I just want to explain you guys about CSS hover effect. Uh, uh, like um, and uh, followed by I will explain what is the CSS important property CSS background color background att attachment I have already explained this background color and background attachment so uh, and uh, here I uh, here I want to explain new concept that is background size and followed by I will explain you guys about CSS height and width uh, this is all for today's uh, lecture I will explain all these things okay first of all let me explain what is the CSS display what is the CSS display means? Uh, this CSS display is the uh, most important property of the CSS which is used to control the layout of this element. Okay, uh, It specifies uh, how the element is displayed. And um, uh, every element has a default display value according to its nature. And every element on the uh, web page is a rectangular uh, box. And the CSS property uh, generally defines the behavior of that particular rectangular box. Okay. Uh, and here, uh, uh, generally, the CSS displays uh, default properties. That is, default value means inline. Okay, I will explain. Uh, generally, uh, we have some CSS display values which are commonly used. That is, uh, display inline, display in inline block, uh, display block, uh, display none. None means it doesn't uh, display anything. Um, display run in. First of all, let me explain what is the CSS display inline. The inline element takes the uh, required width only. Okay, it doesn't force uh, the line break so that uh, so the flow of the text doesn't break the inline examples. Uh, these uh, inline elements are uh, span, a break, etc. Let me create an uh, let me create on sample HTML file. HTML. And HTML, yeah. I have uh, successfully. Okay, then. I have successfully uh, opened and I have successfully created some HTML sample tag. Uh, here you should open your style tag. Okay. Let me uh, here first one. What is this CSS uh, first property that is display and inline? Let me open some paragraph tag. Uh, let me give hello and uh, followed by you should close your paragraph tag. Here I just want to mention my CSS property that is, what is this? display inline, right? Wait some time. Let me zoom my screen. Yeah. 
this is what an inline block means means uh, elements are uh, i mean here uh, the paragraph is printed in inline uh, you can see the difference between display inline and uh, block if at all if uh, after the, after i printing this block and the second uh, this is what the display inline means and followed by we have another uh, property that is display inline block uh, this uh, these css uh, display in block element is generally similar to this uh, inline element but here the difference is that you are able to see the width and height okay and followed by we have another property that is css display block uh, this css display block uh, block element takes uh, as much as the horizontal space as they can means uh, the block elements takes the full available width okay they make a line break let me give uh, here let me add a new paragraph so that you can understand uh, what is this display inline means let me give here one is the uh, see everything is printed in a inline okay uh, see i have uh, i have gave uh, many text that is uh, hello world one is a one is a something some other text but uh, when you see the output everything is printed in a one line this is generally what uh, display inline means okay uh, let me give see uh, let me delete this inline and here let me give css block Hmm. See, you can clearly see the difference between display inline and the display block. What means what is this display block means? This display block element takes as much as the horizontal space. See, you can see that there is a much horizontal space between uh, one paragraph and the another paragraph. Uh, means uh, this block element takes the full available width. Okay, uh, they make and they make a line break. See, you can clearly see that uh, they make a line break uh, from the one paragraph to one another uh, paragraph. before and after them this is generally what the css block means uh, there are some conditions like there are many uh, there are some websites like some content is printed in a one line uh, inline and some content is printed in a block okay you can use either block or inline depends on your agency or depends on your need okay and uh, then uh, fourthly we have css display run in uh, this property uh, i mean Oh, uh, there is a spa. One second. Let me display running. See, it doesn't print anything. Generally, this property doesn't work in uh Firefox. Okay. Uh, the means uh, these elements don't produce a uh, specific box uh box by themselves. and finally we have what is this dis, uh, css display none uh, the none value totally removes the element from the uh, page let me give uh, um, display what is this none see it doesn't print anything uh, this is the beauty of this none means if at all if you are you, you wrote uh, many content uh, you just you don't want to uh, display that uh, that content then you can use this property simply you can give a uh, display that is none so that the content is not visible to everyone these are all the css display properties like we have css display none uh, css display running css block um, and css inline block and css inline these are all the five properties which are involved in this css okay <clears throat> and uh, uh, there are other css display values also you should practice all these css display other i mean other css display values that is uh, flex uh, means it is used to uh, display an element as in a block level flex container and uh, these are uh, these are all new to the css okay
and we have uh, inline flex uh, it is used to display any element as any in level uh, flex container and we have table means uh, it makes the element behave like a table uh, table element uh, we have uh, other uh, another css display values that is css caption css column group uh, table i mean sorry a table header group uh, table footer go, group and table cell what is this table cell means it makes the element uh, behave like a table uh, td okay td element means and we have now uh, table row means it makes an element behave like a uh, table row element table column it makes a it makes the element behave like a column element these are all the css other i mean uh, these are all the other css display values uh, mainly we have only five uh, display values that is um, i have i mean display inline display inline block or display block display run in display none this is all about the display css display properties now i gonna explain you guys about the css cursor uh, what is the css cursor means uh, it is used to define the type of uh, mouse cursors when the uh, mouse pointer is on the element okay uh, it allows us to uh, specify the cursor type uh, which will be displayed to the user uh, when uh, when a user hovers um, i mean hovers on the link uh, then um, then by default the cursor uh, transform into the hand from a pointer okay uh, we have some values that is uh, alias auto all scroll column resize cell uh, copy crosshair this is your homework you please do practice on the css cursor i'm not going to explain about the css cursor property uh we have uh, many css cursor properties that is uh, zoom in zoom out like what is this zoom in means it is used to indicate that the, uh, something can be zoomed in uh, zoom out means it is used to indicate that something can be zoomed out okay there are lot of uh, topics to cover so you please do practice on the css cursor you don't need to do anything you just uh, you have to give something like style equals to cursor that is s size cursor w resize cursor text that's it only one element you have to add only one uh, what is this one type i mean one line of code okay we don't need to do anything like uh, here uh, in this cursor we don't have any much 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 uh, lines of code only one uh, one line code okay you have to give cursor that is uh, depends like uh, i have explained that there we have uh, many cursor types like sc size sw like sc size sc resize means it represents the southeast direction uh, which indicates that any edge box uh, is to be removed and uh, removed down and right and we have s size no drop none many okay uh you, there are many like uh, here uh, we have something like 20 15 to 20 so you please do practice all of them you support css uh, buttons Okay. Uh, what is the CSS buttons means? Uh, in HTML, uh, we use this button tag uh, to create a button. Okay. Uh, in many websites, you can see that uh, after filling a form, there is, there we have a submit button. Uh, when you click the submit button, all the information is submitted to that particular authority. Okay. The, those particular buttons, those particular submit buttons, uh, all are created by using the CSS buttons. I mean, this button uh, element only. Okay. Uh, um but in css we can style those buttons okay uh, see many websites you can see that the buttons are in different types okay some buttons are in some color some buttons are in some um, uh, some width some height uh, okay all those properties can be done by using the css button properties only okay and these buttons generally help us to create user interaction and uh, event uh, processing uh, they are one of these widely used elements of the web pages means you can uh, see uh, i have already explained that in many web pages uh, if you fill any registration form like if you fill any form any form types uh, finally we have that uh, submit uh, button Uh, means uh, during this form uh, submission to you are to get some information we generally we generally use this buttons 
there are some basic uh, there are some stylings uh, in buttons uh, that is uh, the first one is the background color okay uh, we have uh, i have already explained what is this background color means uh, this generally this property this background color can be applied to this uh, button also let me create one button and after that let me add uh, here a uh, button yeah let me give class that is b1 and now let me add submit and after that you should close your button tag okay yeah here i have successfully created the button tag now let me add some properties to that uh, button tag first let me add this background color here b1 background color that is let me give red okay yeah See here, you can clearly see that there is a button with the uh, uh, there is a button that is submit button with the background color red. This is how you can apply the background color to that particular um, button. Okay, and followed by we have another uh, property that we which we can you I mean which we can apply to this uh, button that is border. Okay, uh, we can even add the border. This uh, border generally it is used to set the border of this button. okay uh, like uh, we have some border with uh, border color border style let me give here border let me give 10 pixels 10 pixel which type of border red uh -huh. blue border blue type solid hey oh border is very let me give only one pixel see there is a border like that the border is generally one pixel with the uh, bla i mean sorry what uh, blue color okay this is how you can apply the border to that uh, particular button and followed by we have another property that is uh, border radius property uh, the, the this property is generally used to make the rounded corners of this border i have already explained this what is this border radius let me add here border radius see you can clearly see that all pixels are in a curve call with the 10 pixel this is how you can update the border radius uh, uh, to that button um, in, in many websites you can see that uh, you can see generally buttons are in this uh, type and uh, you have uh, even you have an explain what is this box shadow also uh, as it uh, shadow as it name replace it is used to create the uh, shadow of the button box okay it is used to add the shadow to the button and uh, we can also uh, create a shadow during the hover on the button let me oh uh, let me give box okay box shadow one second what is the
Do anyone know what is this sound? Actually, these sounds are are from my laptop. Do anyone know why it is sounding like this? Guess, please respond. It. I think so. You are he. Uh, my, uh, I mean, here the sound is uh, audible to you. Why it is sounding like this? My God, what the hell is happening? Guess, do anyone know? Please respond. Yes. You are audible, ma'am. So there is a sound came from my laptop, coming from my laptop, but I don't know why it is happening. Continuously, it is sounding. No, ma'am. You are audible. You are audible, sir. Let me shut down my laptop and let it. I will open it again. Okay, whatever I will explain. Okay. Um, here I gonna explain you guys about this box uh, shadow property. Uh, here uh, we have generally uh, what is this horizontal offset and vertical offset and uh, followed by we have uh, blur radius and optional spread radius and uh, finally you have to declare what is the color okay you should mention all these properties then only uh, the shadow will be printed okay let me add uh, one second first one Chiro black Okay. After that, let me add zero. There is a shadow. Okay, uh, yeah. Here we have what is this uh, uh, combination of some black and red? I mean, green and black. It is sounding continuously. I don't want to do this. One second, I will open. Are you hearing?
yeah can anyone know why it is sounding like that Finally, it stopped. It started again. whatever yeah guys this is how we can uh, create the box uh, shadow to that uh, to that uh, particular um, button like uh, if you create any box then you should uh, mention your horizontal offset vertical offset and blur radius uh, and uh, and finally you have you need to uh, i mean mention this radius also and finally you should mention your color okay based upon this four properties only uh, the shadow will be printed and finally we have uh, this property that is padding uh, it is used to set the button padding okay you don't need to do anything you can give padding uh, that is uh, depends on your pixels like if at all if you want to give any padding that is uh, that uh, 10 pixel 20 pixel 30 pixel then you can give i mean depends on your uh, button size and everything this is all about the bottom i mean uh, button property um the, uh, in button uh, in for the particular button tag uh, we can add some css properties that is background uh, color and uh, we can add this border i mean border also like uh, here you can mention what is this even here in border you can mention border with uh, border color even border style also and i have uh, i have uh, gave that um, some 10 i mean one pixel and border color that is uh, i mean um, blue and border style that is uh, solid and uh, you can even mention that border radius also uh, and finally we have what is this box uh, shadow and finally we have what is padding these are all the uh, properties which are involved in the css buttons and uh, here i want to explain you guys about font i will explain all this concept theoretically you should do practice there is no time at all things are not supporting to us okay Uh, what is the css font property means this css font property is generally used to control the uh, look of uh, text okay by the use of this css uh, font property you can change the text um, text size text um, color style and many more uh, and uh, we have uh, i have already explained uh, that is what is this uh, bold means um, uh, in in html part i have used this bold uh, bold tag many times bold property many times and uh, here we have some uh, important font attributes that is first one is css font color and second one is css font family and third one is css font size and uh, font style uh, font variant and font size font weight first one what is the css font color means this property is generally used to change the color of the text okay uh, and what is this font family means uh, this this one second this css font family it this property is generally used to uh, change the face of the font okay and font size like if at all if you want to increase or even decrease the size of your uh, content like size of your font then you can use this uh, css font size property and we have uh, css font style uh, like uh, 
this is uh, like if at all if you want to print your content in a bold format then uh, like if you want to print your uh, content in italic or uh, there are many like oblique everything uh, if at all if you want to do all those things then you can use this css font style tag you don't need to do anything just uh, font style uh, you, you should mention that font style and uh, some dots with uh, bold or italic or oblique it's your wish and uh, we have css font variant uh, is, is this property is used to uh, create a small caps effect uh, like in many websites you can uh, see that there is a difference between the small caps effect and the normal content okay uh, these uh, i mean that type of like there some content is in a small uh, small caps like uh, the content in font size is very less and and each and every letter is in a capsule letter actually that content is uh, printed by using the css font variant property only and finally we have the css font weight okay this property is used to increase or uh, decrease the boldness or uh, lightness okay lightness of this font okay uh, the, uh, means if you if you if at all if you want to highlight your content uh, then you can use the css uh, font weight uh, see in many websites uh, there is some content which is uh, important then they are highlighting uh, okay uh, actually that those things can happen by using the css font weight property only like uh, this css font weight property you uh, can be used in headings okay and coming to let me give some brief intro about this css font color uh, generally uh, there are uh, three different formats to define the color the first one is by name uh, by color name uh, i think so have i explained about this by name and the hexadecimal value and the rgb okay so i don't want to go in thing depth uh, you you please do practice uh, name means you know uh, you know everything like names generally blue green yellow uh, violet uh, maroon pink white everything okay the means we just mention the color uh, by name only and followed by we have another thing that is an hexadecimal value like if you do go uh, and this uh, hexadecimal value should be mentioned by using the hash only okay you just you please do some go you google search once then you can get all the css um, i mean color i mean hexadecimal values okay and finally we have this rgb means here we have uh, four i mean three colors like the combination of red green blue okay these values are generally from 0 to 255 i think so okay and followed by we have another property that is css font family uh, this css font family can be divided into two types the first one is the generic family uh, uh, like it includes the uh, like um, you see um, our uh, Um, our default content that is uh, serif sans serif and monospace and uh, we have another uh, font family that is i mean we have another type that is font family like it specifies the uh, font family name like arial uh, new times roman everything okay uh if at all if you want to change your uh, font family then you can use this uh, like if at all if you want to change the format of your uh, fonts then you can use this font family property and uh, for font uh, we have uh, css font size like i have already explained that uh, if at all if you want to decrease the uh, decrease or increase the size of your content then you can use the css font size property uh, see in many websites uh, you can uh, see that some content is in uh, some uh, um, i mean some size and some content in the some um, uh, size like uh, if you see headings are in actually bigger size and uh, content is in lower size and uh, okay and a uh, sub sub contents are in very lower case okay all these things can happen by using the css font size only like uh, we have many values like x is small means it is extremely small text size okay uh, and uh, we have x small like it is uh, display the extra small text size okay and uh, small like compared to oh, x small and x small this one is better okay it is used to it is also a small text uh, i mean small text size like it is generally used to display the small text size 
and uh, we have this property that is medium uh, it is used to display the medium text size okay and uh, if at all if you want to display your content in a large size then we have uh, that property also like a x large uh, you can display your content in extra extra large that is uh, xx large these are all the font size properties and uh, we have finally css font style this css font style property defines what type of font uh, you want to display uh, like it may be uh, i have already explained that it may be italic it may be oblique or it may be uh, normal it, or it may be uh, some what is this bold it depends okay and uh, finally we have this css font variant uh, this css font variant uh, uh, property specifies how to set a font variant of an uh, element uh, uh, like i have said that in many websites you can uh, clearly see that uh, that some content is in a small uh, text size with the ca all capital letters and here we have two uh, properties that is you can display your content in a normal way or you can display your content in a small caps way also and finally we have the css font weight the css font weight property defines the weight of the font okay and specifies uh, that how bold a font is this pro i mean the possible values of this font weight may be uh, normal bold uh, lighter uh, uh, okay you are even you can mention with the uh, i mean numbers also like 100 200 300 it's your wish these are all the font uh, properties have uh, clearly i have think so i have clearly explained all the cs i mean what is the css font and what are all the uh, important uh, font attributes that is css font color css font size font family font style and font variant and font weight uh, I, i will i mean i have explained all the theory part only one second i am trying to connect it to my let me complete all the theory part i will do for after completing all the theory parts okay uh, see i hope everything is clear like what is this font size font family font weight and font variant and font family everything and now uh, i gonna i am going to explain you guys about css colors okay uh, the css color property i mean the color property uh, in the css is generally used to set the color of this html elements okay uh, like uh, till now we have used many colors but i haven't gave any intro about the css colors like what is the css colors uh, what is this formats uh, here in the css color values we have many formats okay i will explain all of them uh, this uh, property is generally used to set the background color or even font color everything like uh, or even you can use to set this border colors also like uh, how uh, i mean uh, when i created button i mean um, button tag uh, um, i mentioned some border color like everything but i didn't mention any types like okay i i mean any formats for colors we have many formats like we have rgb format rgba format uh, hexadecimal uh, notation uh, and um, i have explained only name hexadecimal and rgb but we have some other type formats like also like rgba uh, hsl hsla built in color let me uh, give some, let me give uh, uh, theoretical explanation about this rgb format means what is this rgb means uh, this uh, rgb means red green blue okay uh, generally it is used to define in the color of an html um, elements by specifying the values of uh, red grow i mean red green blue uh, uh, that are uh, range i mean uh, the range from 0 to 225 okay and uh, the another thing is the color values in this format are specified by using this rgb format property only okay this property uh, allows three values okay that can either be in a percentage or in even a integer it's your wish okay and but you should mention oh but you should mention the three values okay 
and there is another thing that is uh, there are some formats that uh, support uh, that doesn't support all browser but here this rgb uh, i mean here this rgb also it doesn't supported all this browser okay Uh, so that's why uh, uh, w i mean uh, w3c doesn't recommend these uh, things and followed by we have another format that is rgba format it is almost uh, similar to this rgb format except that rgba contains here a means alpha okay that specifies the element trans uh, that is uh, uh, transparency like uh, this value of this alpha is in the range from Zero point zero to one point zero, in which uh, here zero point zero is for fully transparent, and here one point zero means it's not transparent. Okay. Uh, you should mention that is color. Uh, um, color that is RGB means you can mention anything like uh, it's your wish. And finally, we have what is this hexadecimal notation? I've already explained that. Uh, you should mention uh, if you at all if you want to uh, write if you want to mention any uh, color by using this hex hexadecimal values, then you should men uh, mention it with hash only. Okay. Uh, and uh, the, here there is a new thing that is the short hex codes okay it is the short form of hexadecimal notation in which every digit is uh, recreated to arrive at an equivalent hexadecimal values here we only have three values only but coming to the hexadecimal uh, we have five and some colors are in four Or six, but coming to this uh, short, we have only three. Okay, three values. Like uh, if at all, if you want to uh, mention this black color notation in the short text, that is hash zero 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 means black color. Hash uh, f f f means white color. Okay, there are other colors, some other codes also. I don't know. I only know. I just won't. I uh, I just only know these two, like black and white. I forgot all those. Okay, and here uh, we have another uh, format that is uh, HSL means hue, saturation, and lightness. Okay, what is this hue means? Uh, it can be defined as the decrease on this colors uh, wheel from zero uh, to three sixty. Okay, here zero uh, represents uh, red, and one uh, twenty means uh, green. Two forty means uh, means every degree represents one color. Okay, and saturation means it takes the values in percentage. In which hundred percent uh, represents fully saturated, uh, and fifty uh, percent uh, mean fifty represents or fifty percent of grey. Everything okay, and we have another that is lightness. This lightness of this color can be defined as the light that we want to provide the color in which uh, in which here zero percent represents. uh black means uh, there is no light we don't need to uh, any light and here 50% represents neither uh, dark nor light see in in some websites you can pay, you can see that some uh, i mean some content in some like uh, i mean some lightness okay there is a lightness uh, for that uh, for some content actually those things can be done by using this um, hsl only okay hsl colors only uh here uh, if you want if you mention uh, your color by this hsl there is a some lightness okay uh, actually these things can happen by using this lightness property and uh, followed by we have another uh, i mean another property that is hsl a uh, this also like a hsl property except that it contains in alpha like rgb rgb a okay that specifies that elements uh, transparency i have already explained that the value of the alpha is in the range from 0.0 to 1.0 Uh, in which here zero point zero indicates uh, here fully transparent, one point zero indicates not transparent. Okay. Uh, finally, we have this built-in color as it names uh, here as it uh, as the name implies. Built-in color means the uh, collection of previously defined colors that are used by using such as uh, red, blue, green, yellow, white, black, purple, anything. these are all the colors okay you can mention you can use any one of them rgb rgb a um hsl a hsa built in colors that you are wish okay
but if at all if you want to use any rgb or rgb or hexadecimal uh, values then you should do some google search only me because we can't remember all those values we can uh, remember only a few i mean if you do a lot of practice on the css then you can uh, remember uh, some then you can remember or uh, if at all if you do many much much practice on uh, practice the um, in that case only you can, in that case also you can uh, remember some codes or some hexadecimal or some rgb values only okay if at all you please do some uh, google search once then only you can understand what is this hexadecimal values what is this rgb rgb what is this lightness transparent and everything this is all about the css colors uh, this is the important thing mean because uh, for any web page for any uh, html web pages colors are very important okay uh, you are not supposed to use any odd colors uh means odd colors uh, doesn't uh, make your website effective beautiful everything okay oh, so you should uh, do more more practice on the css colors and you have to choose what uh, which color suits best, uh, best and which color suits uh, perfect everything okay this is uh, what the css colors means and uh, here uh, again here i just want to explain you guys about the css hover pro hover means uh, hover uh, property uh, see uh, actually this is a um, uh, see in some websites uh, i think so yeah uh, if you see if you i mean some text uh, actually generally some text is in black color if you click on that text that color generally i mean uh, suddenly uh, changes to another color like uh, that color um, suddenly changes to some blue color green color red color uh, those things can happen by using the css hover effect only actually i want to i want to show but right now it is impossible there are some sounds coming from my laptop you don't worry i will i will uh, i will explain it tomorrow uh, right now i will explain all the theory part tomorrow i will do all the coding part and after that i will start uh, some other topics only okay some and what is the css hover means uh, this hover selected is for selecting the elements okay uh, when we move the mouse on them um, i mean um, it it Uh, it changes to another color okay it only not limited to the links we can use it in almost every html elements okay to style the link to unvisited pages we can use this link selector okay and or uh, to style the link for the visited pages we can use this visited selector and to style the active links then we can use this active selector it it's your wish there are uh, some selectors that is hover link visited active that's your wish based upon your uh, need you can use any selector um the hover generally can be uh, used to highlight the web pages okay uh, i mean as for the preference of this user is an effective like uh, we generally we people we use us every time we will uh, prefer an effective web design i mean effective web pages only okay web pages uh, right so here if it no so here uh, so in such cases you can use uh, some other html css properties like the css hover effect everything these things generally can make our web page effective okay uh this hover what is this there are some uh, features that are included in this hover effect are uh, what is it? it changes the color of the background and the font okay and it can modify the opacity of an image you can even i have already explained that you have you can apply this css hover effect to any html element and in if you have another uh, property i mean we have another feature that is this swapping of you can use this property to swap the images like uh, see uh, in some in some web pages uh, there is a image like if you click on that image then it suddenly changes to another image actually that those, those things can happen by using the css hover only 
ओके दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस सी एस एस यू कैन मेक वेब पेज इज मोर इफेक्टिव मोर ब्यूटिफुल बाई यूजिंग दिस सी एस एस प्रॉपर्टीज ओनली ओके and uh, there is an another feature that is uh, it creates image roll over effects okay you don't worry i will uh, i will code i mean i will i will show it by coding and uh, here uh, basically this hover effect uh, modifies the elements property value to enable the animate changes on a stated um, image or text or the corresponding elements okay embedding of uh, html elements in the web pages makes them uh, functional and interactive this is generally what this uh, css hover effect means and here we have another property that is css important property what is the css important property means uh, this property in the css is generally used to give more importance uh, compared to the normal uh, property uh, see uh, in many websites you can clearly see that there is a some important text uh, you you can uh, by seeing the content you can uh, declare that this con this particular content is very important uh like if you uh, see any some uh, any content type of websites there is a some content uh, like that is dark enough some anything i mean anything else by seeing that content you can play, you can see that this, this particular lines of i mean this particular lines of these part i mean this uh, paragraph is important okay actually those things can happen by using the css important property like if you create any websites like if you create any content based websites and uh, if you want to make uh, some content uh, some content is um, some content to important then you can use this important property Uh, means it, this property is used to give more importance okay compared to this normal uh, property when if we apply this property to the uh, text then the priority of this text is higher than the other priorities okay and uh, it is uh, you should use this property in your program until it is highly required okay if the content is not uh, highly important highly required then you are not supposed to use this importance property okay if you think or uh, if you think that that particular uh, content is very important or uh, very required then only you are supposed to use this importance property and if this rule is given with this attribute and it will reject the normal constraints in which the in which the latter used rule overrides this previous ones okay if we use more than one declaration marked important then the normal uh, cascade takes it over again okay uh nothing in which uh, i mean uh, how how we can uh, mention this important means it is like uh, negative like uh, not equals to not equals to important that's it you don't need to do anything like if you want to um, like you wrote some paragraphs then you want to make that paragraph is very important then uh, in that paragraph you can uh, mention that it, it is important that's it this is what generally important uh, property means this css background size property uh, this background size uh, css property is used to set the uh, background size of any background uh, i mean background size of your background image of any element uh, and this background image can be stretched uh, stretched to fit into the existing space uh like uh, see uh, you wrote a, i mean uh you created one web page and you wrote uh, many much more text like you uh, you wrote some table some list and everything and now here you here, right now you here you just want to mention uh, i mean here uh, you just want to put some image you oh, it's right now. okay guys uh, tomorrow i will explain uh, the css i mean all the coding part and the css
I mean background size. This is all for today's lecture. Sanjay sir. Yes, ma'am. Sir, if at all if you want to say anything, you please. Right now, I am, I am exiting from this meeting. Okay, Mr. Vinod, this is. Yeah, sure. Thank you, guys.